Today we're going to do a sight word activity together. It comes from the trick words that you cut out last week. So if you have those trick words cut out and have been practicing them, you could go get them and put them right by you and then you can match yours with mine. Because I have the same ones written out on the cards right here. But I thought we would go through them and then I can tell you about some different ways you can practice them at home. So if you need to go get your cards, just hit pause and then hit play when you get back. But we're going to get started here. So the first one, what is that word? I'll give you a second. The word is was. Let's spell it out together. W A S was. Very good. Next one. Has. Let's spell it together. H A S has. Good. The next one. As. A S. As. What do you notice about as? and has and was. They all end with the vowel A and the consonant S. A S, W A S, H A S, and S A S. Good. Alright, let's see what the next one is. What's this one? His, H I S, his. Very good. Next, is, I S, is. What do is and his have in common? They both end with I S. Very good. What's this one? I learned this one a long time ago. Two. T O two. It's a little tricky one. You have to have that memorized. Well, what is this? R. Like you are awesome. A R E. R. You know this one. A. And we learned this one a long time ago. What do T H? They make one sound. And that sound is th. And this is the. Very good. And the last one we learned this very, very long time ago. And you can sound this one out. And, very good, A, N, D, and, excellent. Now, with your cards at home, you can write them out on pieces of paper or construction paper. These are called index cards that I wrote them out on. And you can write the words two times. So you could put and on one card and and on another card. And you could do that for five of the words, ten of the words, however many words you want to practice. And then you can play a memory game with them. That's always fun to do. We've done that with numbers a lot, but you can also do that with letters. Also, you can give the cards to someone in your family, and they can show you the cards, and you can see how fast you can do them. You could also act out the cards. They... Your parents could say, or whoever, could say the word in a sentence, and you could act out that sentence, however, whatever they say. Um, you could take the words and put them around the house and go on a scavenger hunt and look for the words, but you can't turn the word back in until you know what the word is. So you just all different ways you can practice them. If you have Play-Doh or sand, 
you can write, you could take the word and you could create the W with Play-Doh, the A with Play-Doh, the S with Play-Doh, however you would like. You could write the word and then you could rainbow write it. So you could start with R, or red <laughs> for the W and the A and the S. And then what color comes next in the rainbow? Orange. So then you could put orange over top of it or right above it. And you could just do that for all the colors of the rainbow. Or you could just choose two or three. There's, you could do a craft project with these. There's all kinds of ways you can practice your sight words. Um, now, I want the next time that we practice these, me and you, then we'll see if, how fast you can do them. But between now and then, I just want you to practice them with the grown-up that you're with or your big brother or big sister and see how well you do them. Remember, you say it, spell it, say it. Say that with me again. You say it, you spell it, and you say it. Very good. All right. Thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Bye.